Hands up if you know what Dawn is. I know it's an owl. What's right? She's a barn owl. She's a barn owl. Yeah. Dawn's got a sister called Dusk. She's a tree so house owl. When we got them, Molly's had this bird for oh. about six years. And we had, we had them as babies. We bought them up from babies about that big. And Dusk and Dawn. Yeah. This is Dawn. Now, Dawn's got a Saturday job. Dawn delivers wedding rings, believe it or not. Oh. So, she so she's used to flying in front of people. Okay, so we're just going to explain a few things about barn owls. They are one of five British species of owl that we've got in this country. We've got the barn owl and four others. Hands up if you know what the four other species of oh, barn owl. Oh, four other species of indigenous owls. Wow. Little owl. <laughs> Tawny owl. Wow. Barn owl. Yeah. Sorry? Tawny owl. Yeah, that's three. So we've got barn, Tawny and little. We've got two more. For what? Eat mice. Yeah, they eat mice. <laughs> oh, is it the Afghan eagle? Afghan eagle, not Afghan eagle. <laughs> you got to answer my question first before I answer yours. Is it snowy out? No, not snowy out. Long ear down. Long ear down. Well done, Shaman. Raymond. Well done, Raymond. Give Raymond a clap. What's the other one, Raymond? Raymond. Before they were barns, they used to live in old trees. Yeah. All the barns now are lived in more by rich people, weren't they? They've done them all up and they live in them. So there's not, yeah. not a lot of barns around nowadays. They all lived in by millionaires and stuff. I'm not one of them, by the way. Uh, come on, you got a question here, mate? Go on. <coughs> Sorry? <laughs> Look at its bum. Do they have eggs? Yeah, they do. Do you want to hear any interesting fact about barn owl eggs? Yeah. It's technical though. <laughs> Can I trust you guys? It's very technical. Okay. Who's seen the Christmas cards and they got pictures of barn owls on them? And they Christmas like cards? Yeah. Pokemon cards? Yeah. The Christmas cards are a big owl, small owl. They're all the same, from the same, they're all brothers and sisters, but all different sizes. Why do you think that is? <laughs> they hatch out at different times. Yeah. I like that. Do you know what it's called? I'm going to give you a real good... It's called a synchronous hatching. Okay, so what it is, what basically, when birds build a nest, right, they, they lay a load of eggs. And then when, when they've laid all the eggs, they sit on them. That means all the, all the birds hatch at the same time, all the same sizes. Owls are different. They lay an egg, and they start sitting on the egg from day one. So this means, by the time, so they have five eggs. A bit mathematical, this so they lay five eggs. By the time the fifth bird hatches, the first one's ten days old. So what happens to the little ones? They eat them. So it's nature's insurance policy. Do you want to hear another really good one? It's called obligate simplicide. Are you going to remember that? No. A synchronous hatching, obligate simplicide. So, and that's, that's the insurance policy. So that's why you see the owls are all sort of, you know, different sides. Like Russian dolls, you know, as we put inside each other. Right. So Dawn here, Dawn is six, six years old. Uh, when, owls, when owls fly, okay, they have to be silent. So that, you know, so that nothing can hear them. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to demonstrate this. So we're going to fly the owl, and we want you to listen. We don't want you to use your eyes, we want you to use your ears. Okay? Right, so guys, I need you to be really quiet. 